Hey guys, we are on day 287 in our Bible reading plan, and today we're reading in the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and in the book of Luke, chapter 8. We're covering a lot of ground today. Matthew 13 has the parable of the sower, the parable of the weeds, the mustard seed, the yeast. The weeds are then explained after he talks about the mustard seed and the yeast. And then we have the parable of the hidden treasure and the pearl. We have the parable of the net. And then Jesus talks about being a prophet without honor. And then in Luke 8, we have the parable of the sower. And in Luke 8, we're given the meaning of that parable right away. And then we read about a lamp on a stand. We read about Jesus' mother and brothers. And then we're going to read also about Jesus calming the so storm with his disciples. And then we're going to read also that he restores a demon-possessed man and he heals him. Uh, from demon possession we read that jesus raises a dead girl that he heals a woman with the issue of blood where i kind of want to zero in because the, these two chapters are going to cover a lot of ground something that they both cover is the parable of the sower and the seed falling on different types of soil and i really just want to challenge us today as we're reading through the scripture to really consider this in perhaps a different light than what we usually do I don't know about you, but often I'll read the parable of the sower and I'll just take it as an explanation for why people either don't receive faith or they walk away from faith. You know, if they're, if the seed falls along the path and that seed is falling along hard pressed packed soil and it has nowhere to go or take root. And so the birds come and snatch it away. We know that the seed is the word of God, the truth of who Jesus is and the soil then is is our hearts. It's our ability to receive the word of God into our heart. And so we read about the rocky soil that the seed can't take root or the seed uh, doesn't have enough water in one of the, the parables say it in different ways in each of those chapters. But either way, because of the rocks in the soil, the seed, the word can't take root. And then we also read about thorns growing up that choke out the seeds. So the plant can't get enough of what it needs. It can't get enough light. It can't get enough nutrients. It doesn't have enough space to grow and it gets choked out. And I want to encourage you today as you're reading through these parables, as you're reading through these teachings of Jesus and you're reading through the miracles that Jesus performs to consider the soil of your own heart today. Are there areas in your own heart that your resistance to the word of God because maybe the soil has become hard packed and you need the Holy Spirit to just come in and till up and break up that soil so that you can receive the word of God today. Are there rocks in some areas of the soil where you need God to come in, you need the Holy Spirit to come in and remove those rocks so that the word of God, the truth of God's word can take root and grow down firmly planted in the soil of your heart. Are there thorns in your life that are choking out the word of God? Are there things in your life that need to be removed? Are there things that have taken root in the soil that maybe were pre-existent even to your faith that are still there growing and choking out the truth of God's word in your life? I just want to challenge you as you approach God's word today to ask the Lord to show you your heart and to show you the hard, rough areas that he needs to break up until or remove in order for his word to take root in your heart. Ask God to give you fresh revelation of his word today, that he would reveal to your heart the truth of his word so that it could take root in your life and grow, strengthening your faith and transforming your very life. I hope that encourages you today. I'd love to hear how God is speaking to you through his word and how his word and these parables and these miracles are challenging you today. So drop a comment in the Bible app and let's talk some more about this later. Have a great day, guys.